and a warm welcome to you all. Welcome to another John Day QA presentation. This one's come from uh, a request uh, regards to working with InfoPath controls and it's an issue about trying to change uh, an existing control to another type of control when InfoPath doesn't list it. Um, so I'm going to look into explaining how that works. But what we need to do is first of all see if we understand how controls work in comparison to their bound fields. Show you how we normally typically change the control and then show you how we can change for example a text box to a rich text box which InfoPath doesn't normally show you as one of the options. Let me explain how this works typically. When you have a control on a form uh, that's bound to a field they look after different responsibilities within the template. So the text box, in this case on my screen, will allow me to look after the display, the presentation, the interaction uh, with the user. Whereas the field looks after the way the data is stored and submitted back to its data source. So whenever you're looking at the properties of a control, comparing it to the properties of its bound field, you'll find that there are a lot of tabs that don't seem to share any information except one and that's the data tab. It shares the field name naturally so they can identify each other. It also shares the same data type of course and also evaluates the, the value that's in there by default and whether the data cannot be blank. So these things are core to both the control itself to the user and to the field where the data is passed, stored and pushed to the appropriate data source. So here's an example of a form that I've put together and it just records candidate details for a particular exam or some sort of learning system. And I've put some data in here and you can see further down I've got this brief background which is allowing me to store just plain text information from that candidate. So it can be anything like. Keep that very brief. And I can save that locally. Don't forget, saving is a draft copy. It doesn't meet data validation checks. But if I click Submit, it will check for validation and allow me to submit it once it's successful. So I click Send, and it's now sent that to my email address. Now, what if I want to change that text box to a rich text box so that the candidates can emphasize text by putting it in italics or in bold? Maybe add uh, some color. If I go to the text box control, right mouse click and choose change control, I can just pick out the rich text box. It's not there. And if I click on the more button down the bottom, despite providing a much more complicated list, it's still not there. So the issue is the data type to store rich text is completely different to that of a text box. So what I need to do is try changing the type of data that it's going to store first. So I go to its field in the field's data source on the right, display its properties, and I say I want to change it from a text to a rich text. As you can see, it uses a, an XHTML language. If I click on OK, you'll get a warning straight away on the control saying, well, I've now picked a data type in the field that this particular control doesn't work with. Spot on. So let's go and right mouse click on that control, change the control, and now you can see it's allowed me to change it to a rich text box. The result being, when I open up my form, and I'm using the latest version of that template, I'm now able to put text in bold, in color. So I have the mechanism now to convert this to rich text. Absolutely brilliant, wonderful. If I save my local copy of my formatted background, I'm now going to go back to the design template and see what happens if I do this in reverse. Well. For example, I've, I've got this rich text 
box and I realize I don't need the color, I don't need all the formatting. I want to keep it simple so I can apply this data simply into a field in a, in a database somewhere. So I'm going to reverse this mechanism. I'm going to change the rich text data type back to a regular string. I get this warning. This change will rename, remove or modify our fields stored in this form. Existing forms that have been filled out will lose the data stored in this field. Do you want to make changes? So I'm being warned very clearly that I will lose information in the field. And the advice is if you get that warning, be very, very careful. So if I've now changed that to a plain text, I will now change the control itself also to a plain text. Let's see the impact of what I actually lose. I'm going to make that a bigger box. I'm going to save that and see how my data looks when I open it up in the new version. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Open up the form template, scroll down. Sounds like it's done a quite simple thing. Got to be careful. All I added was color and bold. What if I'd added something that else rich text boxes can do? Well, it all depends on what you put in it. You can see here I've put some extra color in the background, I've put in some bullet points, um, so I'm using the potential, or a good part of the potential of the X HTML that's been put in behind that. So if I change the template so that it's back to plain text, once again I'll have to do it from the field. Why didn't I do it from the control in the first place? Well the control responds to whatever data types the field will allow it. So for example, it's an X HTML, it will not let me change it to anything else. And like so, if I change this in the field back to a text string, I get this warning. What it's saying is something in there might be not saying it will be, it might be lost or it might be converted. So be careful, sometimes things don't get translated back very easily to plain text. So I'm going to say yes, we'll see if this works okay. You notice I'm just going to change the control back to a text box and I'm going to make that text box big again as before. But uh, just to prove, I cannot change it from text to rich text box in the control. It will only allow you to sort of sit within the limits that the field data source there is permitting. And I'm going to publish. I'm going to see how my data looks whilst that control has been converted back to a plainer, simpler type of control. There's my form. I'll scroll down to the data. It's gone. Oh no, I've lost all that data. No, you haven't. What you've done is you've changed the template, you've changed the way the structure is picking up the data and because it can't understand it, it can't push it through to that particular control. I've changed the control back to a rich text box and look what happens when I rerun my data again. There you go. So you don't lose the data but you do lose the transition of the information from the XML file from where it's stored into the template. So be careful, you're not losing the data temporary, but you, you could easily render certain information useless to the users when they go and open up the data in your new revised template. I hope that's cleared up some information about how to change your controls uh, within your form template. Thank you very much. Any comments or suggestions about my videos, you can use the comments box below or contact me via email johndayqa at live.co.uk. If you're interested in the IT training, please contact QA at www.qa.com or via email info at qa.com.